Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and all HPL fans. It's been a long time since we've uploaded, but it's a special occasion tonight. The beginning of the 76ers season, and we are all hyped. And we have a couple of new members in the uh, in the, sp- in the sportscast today. We do, we do, we do. Yeah, there's Noah. We all know Noah. But we yeah, have, we I'm have, here again. We have Zach today. Hola. And we have Lucas. Yo, yo. You might know him from a, a couple of food reviews back then, but uh, today he's going to talk Sixers with us. So what's the first topic today, gentlemen? Well, here's the thing. We have a Sixers game tonight, okay? We have a Sixers game. Our season ended uh, about half I – don't, I, I don't feel like doing math – back in May or April. Guess where it ended? It ended at the place we're playing tonight, okay? This is not just a game. Okay, this is the first game. This is revenge almost, and it's not going to be easy. Okay, the Celtics are probably a lot better than they were last year, at least when we played them in the playoffs. You know, they're getting Gordon Hayward back. They're getting Kyrie Irving back. They're a good team, and it's going to take a lot to beat them tonight. And I know it's just the first regular season game, but this means more. It's, it's the first game. It's national television. It's opening night. Only two games tonight. So it, it's up there for the taking. Um, Sixers want to come out make a make a statement early on. They can do that. Or they can uh, lose to Boston, and I don't think anyone would be surprised. So. And also, um, you got to realize that their bench is much better than ours. They have Terry Rozier, Marcus Smart. Um, they also got Robert Williams coming off their bench. Jaylen we got T.J. Uh, McConnell. They have uh, Jalen Brown coming off the bench, too. <sighs> what is, it, is Tatum starting or is Brown starting? Tatum starts. Oh, okay. That's a scary He's going to be their starting shooting guard. They just have so many different weapons. Like, it's impossible to get stops. Yeah. They're all um forwards. Now, what I see at the Sixers' key to winning this game is contesting threes. And making sure that you do not turn the ball over. Because we're a young team. We're going to make a lot of mistakes this first game. Can we say we're a young team, though? Are we a young team anymore? Like, yes, we're still on. Yes, Yes, we're still. Yes. yes. Our our three best players are under 25. They have to be a young team. That we're a younger team than most. But at the same time, we can't be making plays anymore. This team, with most of the young players that you're calling young players, have played in two playoff series already. They've played a whole season last year, and I know Fultz hasn't played really, but that's only one guy. No, I think this is the last year they can be called a young team. Yeah. This is the last is, season. Is this Embiid's, what, playing-wise third season? Yes. Yeah. It's Simmons' second, and Fultz is, I'll say one and a half. Yeah. Because I don't count last season as a real season, but... But it, really, we're going to see a totally different Embiid possibly tonight. We're going to see Bully Ball Embiid. Hopefully yeah, we're gonna true. see we're gonna see um, MVP Joel Embiid. <laughs> he said he's gonna win MVP. If he says something, it's gonna happen. Eh, I would not agree with that. They said, he said he said they're gonna make the playoffs two they years did. ago, and they well. didn't make the playoffs. So I don't know. You're just a hater. It's all it is. No, I, I wouldn't say that. I'm just I'm just saying that they can't. They can't be committing turnovers like they did last season because that was so bad last season. Those turnovers were awful. They were what? Yeah, Probably and, the worst in the league. The I think that we would have won that playoff season, that series, if Ben Simmons had a shot. Yeah. If we had, if we had both him playing. Him, if we had both playing. Left left him open I wouldn't agree with that. I don't think if Fultz played, we would have won the series. We had chances, you know. Yeah. That, like when Ben Simmons that, missed the wide open dunk. Yeah. Going and going when, back. And also, you got to forget like the two. We lost two of those games because of bad turnovers in the last second. Right. If you we know, don't we make almost, those turnovers, it's two two. In the we almost won game three. Game three was where Bellinelli hit that corner, two to tie it up. If it would have been a three, then uh, they would have won game three, and then game four. I think they would have won that as well. And then all of a sudden you have a 2-2 tied series and that game in Boston, you know, that was also a frustrating game. I don't really remember it completely, but I do remember it being very close and Sixers had a ton of opportunities and they should have won, but they didn't. They just didn't play well enough. So 
I mean, and Celtics we were the better team. And and we could have beaten the Cavs in the Eastern Conference Finals. So. Yeah, that's very possible. Uh, I don't think so. It's possible. Mm, but the Celtics look better than us, and then the LeBron was just on another level. Well, I uh, mean, all we know is the Cavs won't be there this year. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. not. They're yeah. not going to make the playoffs. They're not making the playoffs. Yeah. I can see them being a nine seed. Nah, I Even think though there is no nine seed. Well, no, like being the ninth team yeah. in the conference, but I I could see them getting in at like seven or eight. Yeah, with Kevin Love. Uh, we're not oh, talking about that. Seed. We're talking about the Sixers. The Sixers what? need to get to the first or second seed this season because I don't think the Raptors are going to win that many games. Um, I don't think the Celtics. The Raptors. The, the Raptors. Raptors Kawhi. Kawhi. Big. No, but the Raptors need to adjust because they just lost Demar Derozan, who was like yeah, kind of the here's king. The thing, though. Kawhi Leonard is a better basketball player than De- Demar Derozan. True. Okay. Yeah, but the Raptors yeah. also gave up some depth trading for him. They did, but I mean, Kyle Lowry and Kawhi Leonard. They, they should have traded Lowry. I don't understand why you'd keep Lowry. Yeah, that's actually a smart move. Like Kyle Lowry, he's older and he's worse. Demar Derozan was young. He's getting his. He's he's younger. He's he's get, he's starting to hit his three, and his defense is incredible. Yeah. And you trade away him for a, a for, one year <laughs> rental of Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. But uh, for tonight's game, who like what players need to step up for the Sixers to win this? It's not going to be easy. Um, I think Robert Covington needs to step up. I like, agree. he was missing a lot of shots in the playoffs that he should have made. Yeah, his uh, yeah. decision making is not very good. Yeah, he likes to pull those I, contested threes. I think we should trade um Robert Covington and Dario Saric for something. No. Better. I, I like Dario. Don't trade Dario. I think yeah, what we should uh, do what you get for him. tonight, who needs to step up is JJ Redick off the bench. Because let's say our starting lineup goes out there and right and it's about tied yep. and they make their substitutions and Redick comes out and starts hitting threes. That's a big game changer. Yes, yeah. it is. We I always think that you at least need one starting caliber player on your bench. Just like Carmelo Anthony didn't come off the bench for the Thunder. If he came off the bench, I would see Western Conference Western Con- Western Conference champions maybe for them. Mm. If he came off the bench, but he's I don't a know about that. star coming off is, the bench. Now that he's on Houston, is he gonna come off the bench on Houston or is he starting? Yeah. No, he's, he's starting. Ew. Well, I think someone who needs to, I don't know, step it up, but I think if you get a nice performance, maybe like eight points, eight to 12 points out of Landry Shamit, I think um, maybe he hits a couple threes. I think that could be bode very well for the Sixers tonight. Yeah. You know, just, just some of those yeah. guys coming off the bench. I don't know if Korkmaz is going to get any minutes, but if he does, maybe he um, comes in, you know, provides a spark. I think that's really important for the guys on the bench to um, – provide those sparks when they when the team needs them when when stuff when it it's not going well or the you know they're having the offense is uh hit a hit a skid and they they just can't can't score that the bench players come in and they provide a spark for a couple minutes yeah and then i get feel them like back in the game. i feel like La- uh, landry shamit can become some sort of player like margo bellinelli did for us last season mm. yeah i would agree with that um for me, you know. oh, you're gonna get no, you're good. Okay, so I'm gonna say for me, a big thing I want to watch for tonight is the Ben Simmons versus TJ McConnell like playing time, because you saw last year like TJ he could really kind of bring a different thing than Ben Simmons, a whole different pace to the game, just the way he played. Like, is that gonna change tonight when he's on Kyrie or if he's playing Marcus Smart or let's see what Brett Brown does? I mean, it could be a big game changer. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be kind of a chess match. And, and of, I want to see who is guarding um Ben Simmons because last playoff series Al Horford was guarding him, if I remember. And I want to see if Kyrie or Al Horford guards him. So, yeah, well, think Kyrie can guard him. Yeah, no, so Terry Rozier could have guarded him, but Al Horford did. Yeah, so that's a nice mismatch that is good for the Sixers because. 
if you go and put Al Horford on um, on Ben Simmons, then you have to put um, someone else on Embiid. And now they do have Robert Williams, which is going to help them. But you put Robert Williams in there, now you got two big men in in the lineup. And I know that um, Horford can shoot threes. However, you don't really want to have to put a lopsided lineup out there. And so it helps for the Sixers that they can have that flexibility and then just really play off of whatever the Celtics do. Yes. That's but what I like I, about, that's what I like about Celtics the Celtics still uh, have home court advantage, so uh, whatever. So the, the, I mean I think I still don't know if they're gonna win the game, but I, th- I think it will be a close matchup. I don't know. Yeah, the game's definitely gonna be close. Uh although I honestly I could see it being very like lopsided as well. Sixers yeah. taking a big lead for no reason, or the Celtics taking a big lead for an obvious reason. But I don't think tonight's going to be really like indicative of the whole season because obviously it's mm-hmm. the first game with all like a ton of new guys playing for each team. So I think it'll be learning for each. But it's going to be a good game regardless. What's your score predictions? Score predictions. I it's going to be a one hundred twenty three to one eighteen. I'm going to say the Sixers. That's pretty high scoring. That is. Um, I would say I'm looking for, well, 109 to 104 Sixers. All you guys, right. You guys are too positive. I'm going 99-98 Celtics at a game-winning three. Come on. That, that, Get out of here. <laughs> that would hurt so I'm just saying, badly. I'm just saying, that's what's happening. <laughs> that's what's going to happen? Exactly. Okay. That's what's happening. Okay. okay. Anyway, I got... um. What do I got? I got a little bit of a more low-scoring game. I got 97-91 Celtics. That's fair. I, I, right. I don't see how the don't see how Sixers can go into Boston on opening night. All take right, down, um, take it, take them down, da- <laughs> take down the Celtics after uh, you know this is Gordon Hayward. He is playing, yeah, right. <laughs> like, Gordon, playing. Gordon, okay. but Gordon Hayward has to um, get into like a rhythm. He's not gonna. It's gonna be like no, Carson he's gonna Wentz. no, 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 no. Carson Wentz wasn't good on his first game back. Like, yes, he was. Really he good. was. No, like but really no, good. he's he's coming back. He's gonna be energized. The crowd is gonna go crazy. It, it's gonna be a crazy atmosphere. I just you know, and I think the Sixers yeah. are going to play well. And obviously, you know, I just don't so, see how they can um, win in the end. How do you think that Brett Brown started Markel Fultz over JJ Reddick? Uh, I think. How do you feel about that? For me, I think it was just because JJ Reddick. It's better to save him. He's getting older for late in the season, so you might as well have a mm-hmm. young guy like Markel who needs playing time. Start him mm-hmm. a shooting guard. Why not? Um, I think that um he did it because Markel Fultz brings more energy to the team. Like JJ Redick is like he doesn't bring m- that much energy. Like Markel Fultz gets like good steals. Like as you remember at the end of the season, or it was that in the playoffs against the Heat. He he missed the shot, then got the rebound, and then he stole it when they were inbounding. And I think he did that like twice at the end of the season. He just brings more energy to the team. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. So, uh, does anyone else have anything else to say? I think I'm good. Uh, that's it for me. We'll be um doing some of these throughout the season, maybe big games for Sixers. We'll also do some NBA ones in general. We'll also be coming out with some more NFL content um, later on. We might do, and it's the first time I'm throwing it out there, we might do a power rankings maybe midway yeah, through the yeah. season. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We can look back on what our power rankings were before the season, compare them to what we have now because, well, a lot of things have changed in um, the NFL since I, then. I also I also have a um, thing to say. Um, let's see. Can we just talk about what kind of seasons each, like, starter on the Sixers will have like a a good season, a breakout season. 
Uh, yeah, we can we can do a Sixers roster video or podcast yeah, that, in depth. Yeah. Um, so we can do that later on. Look out for that. And then other things uh, throughout the year we will also do. So just make sure you uh, continue to look for those things. And other than that, um, see you in the next sportscast. <laughs>